Hey, so I wanted to make a video and talk about the different ways that we fish when we fly fish. You know, I remember when I started fly fishing, um, of course, we always think of a dry fly on top of the water and as fly fishing. And so, you know, when I learned that there was other ways to fly fish, I was kind of blown away, but I was also confused. <laughs> People talking about streamers and nymphs and wet flies and dry flies and emergers and all these different things. Uh, it was a little bit overwhelming. So I wanted to make just a quick video and explain that a little bit. And I mean, this is by no means scientific or anything like that. But I wanted to give just a quick overview and maybe a introduction if you're just getting into fly fishing on those different kinds of terminology, I guess, or different kinds of uh, ways that we fish. So what I like to think about is a column of water. I'm here on the Henry's Fork and just getting ready to go out here and fish this, this nice riffle. But um, I like to think of a, of a column of water from the top surface of the, of the water column all the way down to the bottom of the water column where there's the cobblestones and rock and that kind of thing. Um, and there's different things going on in different um, areas, different parts of that water column. So... Most so when we think about a trout, they're having to pretty much constantly feed and constantly eat. And so, you know, if we don't see them on the surface all the time, like today, um, it's March 1st and it's you know about 32 degrees out here, so there's not a lot of dry fly action going on. I can see a few midges and and things here, but there's not, I haven't seen any trout actively feeding on the surface, and so. But the trout still have to eat. They still have to be out in there eating in order to keep their energy up. So um, so when we think about that water column, we can kind of think about what's going on in each area of that, of that column. So um, along the bottom of a body of water, you know, today we're talking about a, a river, but uh, there's insects um, along the bottom and in those rocks and everything else and that's what we refer to oftentimes as nymphs Even though there's kind of different depending on different insects and that kind of thing There could be they could be nymphs. They could be you know, there could be some larva and depending on what species of insects you're talking about but um, Kind of a generic term I guess in general term is if we're fishing flies along the bottom of the river, we consider it nymphing. And so what that entails is patterns that might be tied with some weight on them, or we're using a piece of split shot to sink those flies down to the bottom and bounce them along those rocks. So it's like, you know, maybe uh, some bugs got, a, a rock got turned over and the bugs came out and so those are bouncing down the river now, and so those are um, available for the fish to eat. And so that's one. So so that's kind of when we just, when we're talking about nymphing, that's what we're talking about is is fishing flies along the bottom of the of the water. Now there's also some other things we can fish along the bottom too. We can fish egg patterns along the bottom, you know, from, from spawning fish that break loose out of the beds and, and they're rolling down the river. So we could fish egg patterns in that same, that same uh, general way. Another thing is like uh, uh, forage fish or minnows or sculpin or leeches that are on the bottom. So we could be fishing streamers. Streamers would be you know, flies that are tied to mimic minnows and 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 uh, and those kind of things, sculpin. So we could fish those along the bottom of the river. We could fish worms along the bottom of the river. Um, you know, like a San Juan worm or something like that, nightcrawler 
you know, patterns that look like night crawlers and that kind of thing. So there's lots of different ways, even when we're talking about nymph fishing, there's a lot of different things that are outside, that aren't necessarily nymphs, but we kind of use that same generic term. So if, if we go back to our water column, so we've talked about the bottom, the bottom of the water column. So then there's that middle water column, and I kind of think of it, you know, as, as all the same, even though there is some differences depending on how deep it is and, you know, if there's a, a hatch coming on and there's bugs going up, you're gonna, you're gonna try to fish different areas of that middle column of water depending on what's going on. But um, a couple, you know, but some of the stuff that we fish in the middle column of water is going to be again streamers so you can think there's going to be minnows there's going to be um you know leeches and those kind of thing in the in the middle column of water another thing that's going to be in the middle column of water is is uh how we would fish wet flies and that is a nymph uh well an insect that goes from the nymph stage and when the water temperature is right and the time of year is right, then they're going to rise to the surface of the water and they're going to begin to hatch into a dry fly. And so a lot of times those um, wet flies are tied to mimic an emerging uh, insect coming from the bottom of the, of the water column up into the surface water column. And so we can fish those as well, those wet flies. Or we can, you know, at the end of a, a drift, I like to swing the nymphs up and just kind of let them sit. And it mimics those flies coming up in the water column. Um, another thing that we can fish closer to the top of the water, but I would still consider it in the, in the water column, is like emerger type flies. So there again, it's those... Um, you know, those insects, come, those aquatic insects coming up to the surface and they are um, getting ready to hatch, but they're still kind of in that top section of water. And sometimes they get stuck even right on the top surface of, of or just under the surface of the water. And so, um, you know, that's another thing that th those are considered emergers, you know, and they're, I would say in the top, the top film or the top, you know, six or eight inches of water that you're gonna fish those. Then we get to the top and the surface of the water, which is probably what we think of the most when we're dry fly fishing, or when we're fly fishing. And that's gonna be the adult stage of those aquatic insects. So they've, you know, started out as a nymph, then they've come up in the water column, they've gotten to the surface, they're gonna hatch, they're gonna fly away and go mate and do, um, you know, and, and can, and really die that's kind of the end stage of their life cycle um, so there's lots of different different flies that we uh, that we can fish for that depending on what time of year it is what temperature of water it is and we'll go into this in, in, on another day you know but there's there's uh, there's lots of different kinds of insects that we can do another thing to think about on the surface is not only dry flies as far as aquatic insects hatching but we also have terrestrial uh, insects, so grasshoppers, beetles, ants that are on the side of the bank, maybe on the willows or whatever, and they get knocked off by the wind and into the river and they are, um, you know, eaten by the fish that way. Or another one that is a really fun one to fish would be like a rodent, like a mouse pattern. We can fish those along the top of the, of the river as well. And um, you know, really have a lot of fun watching some big brown trout and stuff, uh, just smash those, those, uh, those mouse patterns. So, um, anyway, so that's kind of just the way that I look at it and, you know, try to, try to keep it simple and easy and, and, uh, but when I go out on a day to fish like today, then I look and I try to determine, okay, is there anything going on on the top of the water? I'm not seeing any fish, so I'm going to have to think about fishing that middle section or the bottom section of the water. You know, what's going on? Is there, um, is there insects hatching that I need to think about? Can I see fish feeding in a certain spot or a certain area? Um, you know, and so then I can start to kind of um, narrow in my, uh, my, my strategy on how I'm gonna fish. So anyway, I hope that that helped out. 
a little bit, you know. I know when I was a beginner man that I heard all those terms and I was like, man, what are you guys talking about? So I hope that that helps a little bit and uh, that that maybe that can um, shed some light on, on some of that stuff and give you some things to think about when you get out and fish. And hopefully, obviously, um, help you be successful and catch more fish. So anyway, I'm going to go and, and uh, fish this riffle right here real quick and uh, tune in another day on another video. Thanks.